Amun or I mean anything other than making us realize that Amen is the name because then you're ending every prayer with the name of the actual mm -hmm. divinity. Mm -hmm. So that takes them out of their entire false pseudo religion. Mm -hmm. But you have Amen. One of his titles is Adi Amen and Adi the I, which is you know um, all seeing, but it also means stability. Adi Amen in the Akan language in Ghana Ivory Coast. Ayame or Oniyame, that's the name of the divinity. So when somebody says, who is God in the Akan language, they say Oniyame, that's Ariyame, that's the same divinity. And Aniyame Wa, or Oniyame Wa is the great mother. That's Amenet. So there's a colossal statue of Amen and Amenet, the great father and great mother, in this temple. Hopefully, it's, uh, hopefully it's, um, they finished restoring it, because last year they were still restoring it. But, so you find Aniyame or Oniyame in Akan, if you look at the Lhotse people in southern Afrika, Afrika they say Nyambe. The, the people in the Congo say Nzambe. The people in uh, the Ovambo people say Nyambe. So if you go from east, central, west, south, and north, you find Onyame, Anyame, Nzambe. Amongst the Fang people in Gabon, you have Nzambe. Everybody is calling on a, a version of the name of the great god Nyame or Ame. And then you also have Amenet, the great mother. So that's important for us because we still invoke them today. We go to our Khan ceremony or go to and we go to Ghana because we're going to do this trip. <laughs> and Ivory Coast. They, people are praying to Nyame every day, all day. And Nyamewa for those who still maintain real tradition. So, but we, we have to get into it a lot. So, we'll, we'll debrief. For real this time. <laughs>